in another Overwatch 2 game against Wayne State. Welcome back. First game of the season. Hype! <laughs> Let's go! Here's hoping our, our team can start off with a good season. Good season. The first game tends to set the mood for the rest of the season. So if we win this, then the next game should be a bit better. Yeah, hopefully we do better than Overwatch did yesterday. Went 0 and 2. So. Game we are doing a control on a map that SMSU is not the strongest with, so... Yep. And control for SMSU, they, they don't do too good on it in general. But in preseason, they had been doing a really good job on control, so hopefully they can keep that streak going. It does look like SMSU is taking a very um, aggressive approach with the Junker Queen, the Genji, the Moira. They're trying. Their goal is to kill them on the point and then push them back. Yep, and then Azaria get that name right on oh we got a parse here actually so uh wayne state's gonna go with zarya really a uh, tough tank to kill uh really annoying not a lot of counter picks to her so see, we can see how smsu is gonna deal with that matchup and it looks like a letter a letter it's on reaper which and uh, smsu has always had a problem with dealing with overly aggressive dps so mm -hmm. if this reaper can get on their supports then might not end well. SMSU losing the initial skirmish as they wait for the control point to unlock, hoping to get a pick. Yep, and trash on that Genji. In the preseason, we saw that man making a lot of big plays for SMSU, so hopefully he continue that. Oh, it oh. does look like Wayne, is, Wayne State is the first one to lose someone. Yep, there goes 76. Trash pushing up here. He's anti -ed. SMSU trying to get some ground, trying to push them back a bit further. They take Reaper. out Reaper and they gain the pressure they need to shove them back. This is yep. And there goes Trash. 76 comes back just in time to get Trash. Uh, Ila <laughs> I already forgot her name. Wow. <laughs> Ilari goes down. Ilario, whatever, SMSU yeah. overextending a little bit. Yep. End up losing some of their momentum. The Zarya being able to push completely onto the yep. point. And Wayne State taking back the point it looks like here. Mystic, just trying to go after Zarya here. Trash maybe looking for something. Yeah, Zarya looks like she probably has 100% for her shields. So that's that's going to be a lot of damage I'll put for her. Oh! Soldier almost taken down to half. Getting some health back. Oh, it looks like uh, Moira is dead and then Trash goes down too. Zarya getting the nano boost was able to push out and let's see if SMSU is going to be able to retake goes down this. For Wayne. SMSU backing off. This Zarya is, as I said, is very annoying, very hard to kill. So honestly, the best thing they can do is mostly ignore her and just go for the back line. Deal yep. with her later. Especially because she's at, it looks like she's at 100% right now. So yeah, the longer SMSU ignores her, the better. I think they're gonna go. It comes a, an ult from... Uh, junk, uh, junk Queen, Trash, trying to get into the back line. We're gonna get to get, get the 76 and Fario. Heck, Lucian ults. Oh. Uh, Genji ults. Getting two of them. Now it's just Zarya. And gets the Zarya also. And with that, the point. SMSU. Well used, well used ults there. Um, X Mystic going straight through the Zarya. Going straight for the supports instead. Definitely turn that fight. They saved the Zarya for last, and yep. the fight went well. Let's see if SMSU can continue this pressure going forward. Yeah, they're, they're quite a bit behind, so hopefully they can they can get this pressure back. Two alts for SMSU and two alts for Wayne State. Wayne State swapping over to Brig, and... Here comes the Brig ult and the 76 ult. And the Moria ult from Chap. Uh, oh, we got a Sojourn ult going out there. That Railgun's gonna be firing. Zora's gonna get Sojourn. And Trash. Just ignoring Zarya, trying to get everyone else first. Now it's just Zarya. Now that it's just Zarya, she has to try to hold on back up for her healers. 76 is back. Not doing a whole lot of damage to Zarya. Zarya's trying just to kill the support right now. Almost succeeds in it. Looks like Chap does get out by falling through the hole. They're, They're getting... pushing Wayne State back yet again. They have to push her to this point right now. Zarya almost died there. 
SMSU taking the lead now. Here comes the song, uh, some, 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 bro? Symmetra. Not, Symmetra, oh my god. The Symmetra ult playing Dude, around it now. That looks like that was enough pressure to push SMSU back, dragging yep. this match on even longer. It does look like SMSU is going to have a couple ults coming up soon for this next fight. Zarya not even taking any damage, taking down the tank there. Kind of got separated from the healers. Uh, oh, Trash is going to get 76. SMSU in a tough spot here. They have to push them to the point real soon. Yep. Zarya was getting a little aggressive. Trash is down. If SMSU is caught off this point with the Zarya ult. Ooh, Souljorn trying to maybe get on the point just to get into overtime. Here comes the tank, Mystic. Just going down. Uh, and it. I think Lucio ulted. Or Lucien. And Bridge ulted. Trash is in there trying to just maintain overtime. I don't think anyone's going to get back in time. Nope. And the, the first round goes to Wayne State. As we said, Control is not SMSU's strongest um, game mode, Yo. as we saw there. They have trouble recovering once they're pushed off of site with their respawns desynced, and that's what led into that ending situation. Yeah, and they happened earlier, and they did a pretty decent job, uh, job taking back the, the objective, but right there, they just crumbled under the pressure and couldn't get it done. Does look like the T Dog is swapping over to Junkrat. Gonna be a problem for SMSU to deal with. Yep, and SMSU ta is sticking with the same lineup, it looks like. Although I saw. Hopefully, SMSU can. Oh, wait, nope. Looks like we are doing some swaps over Ramatra and Echo making their way out. And Ramatra is a, is a very meta tank, I'd say. Once he gets his ult, it's kind of hard to get away from him on, on this kind of objective map. Uh, the so. entire Wayne, Wayne State team taking the teleport onto the point. Yep. Leaving Trash to try there to fight them all right. by himself. There goes one of the supports for Wayne State. Samara almost died. Just gotta get Zarya. Symmetra does go Symmetra down. down. Zarya is almost dead. And they're gonna get get her. SMSU taking another early control point. Let's see if they can hold on to this one, unlike last time. Yep, that's the big story. They have to keep this control. Trash sitting in the in point. the ugliest corner, trying <laughs> 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 trying uh, to hold a point for them. Yeah, I don't know what the plan is. Maybe he practices it, man. We we don't know. So. Oh, they swap over to Bastion. Bastion is one of the worst ones for Ramatra to deal with. Yep. Melt HP real quick. Yeah, Wait. Bastion's really good. Wayne say just trying to skirmish a little bit before pushing on the site. Does look like they are just Zarya's shooting Zarya, getting her shield charged. Ooh, they take her down to half, though. She's going to get it all back. That Bastion in that position, hard to take out from there. Yep. Does look like SMSU is starting to drop one by one. Yeah, they're just gonna have to give up the point. Yeah, Bastion was big there. He just sat up top and just went into his certain form and just was kind of picking off. Not picking off, but he was taking away everyone's health. So, forces them to back off. That's supposed to be a little bit split up, trying to launch two different points with their tank up top. Zarya's yep. gonna try to just get him out of there. With the Bastion turret. Bastion is ulting. Bastion ulting. Doesn't get anyone with it. That's what we call a zoning ult there. Yep. Just making sure they don't take the point of <laughs> buying more time. It does oh, look like Trash does go down after trying to use his ult. Alright, there goes... There goes 76 and Bastion. Mora's gonna ult. Oh, it looks oh, like it's an even uh, trade so far. Azaria ulted, getting, getting everyone in that little pocket. Trash was hopping back on Genji. That fight was close. If Trash hadn't gotten picked off earlier, that fight yep. might have gone more in SMSD's favor. We're getting a 76 now instead of, I, I don't remember who they want. Soldier one, so kind of s oh, not even similar matchups. I don't know why I was going to say that. Just one person on the team is similar. Um, SMSU lost the point. It hasn't regained it since. Three of SMSU players are now anti. That was a big anti from Aina there. They 
They oh, do okay. get the Bastion. Uh, Mystic, Mystic get him it. back there. 76 goes down. Ah. Oh. And they, they get the Zarya as she tries to run. Yeah, get they get back the point now. So hopefully they can keep it. They do have um, Ramatra ult, but 76 also has his ult. The Ramatra so. ult is going to be very important for them, as well as Genji being able to be in between the soldier when he ults, using his diff deflect to just hit those bullets right back at him. Yep. So hopefully... Doesn't they, they all goes to good use here? Wayne State trying to just get uh, something going. Trash is gonna try to get a go in, but just can't hit anything over the Zarya. Oh, looks like the Ramacho ult coming comes out, the trying Ramacho to shove them back. Gets oh. Bastion, trying to get gets on a oh, 76 on Wayne State also pops his own, gets the uh, SMSU. Uh, 76 wow that was a the Ramatra ult shoving them back making them wait for their supports to respawn yep trash going in with the ult trying to kill the Zarya yep. as quickly as possible oh Zarya is so low and they do and get they the get Zarya. her along with 76 Bastion they switch over to Lucian so they can just maintain point and there he goes SMSU taking saving their ults for the last moment taking out their tank well played by SMSU yep Making it 1-1, one, one. so hopefully they can win this game so they can get an early start. It is best of five, I believe. Yes. Yeah, so best of five, so even if SMSU does lose this one, they will have more chances at game modes they're better at, I'd say. We are seeing two We're seeing a DPS, two DPS and a support change from Wayne State swapping over to Sombra. May and Baptiste, the Sombra, probably hoping to try to get some picks on the supports, keep them from coming back. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, I wonder how is going to handle this May as she tries to wall off their tank so they can just blow him up. Yeah, they're looking... Hopefully SMSU can, can get really aggressive early because Wayne State's... Uh, Agents, uh, kind of aggressive, kind of. Does look like Sombra is trying to take out the 76. Yep. Trash is trying to get to the back line to go on May, but that wasn't working out for him. Ooh, looks like it's a three on three contest right now. Zarya, yep, there's the zone off from May. But zoning off Zarya, kind of. Oh, so as uh, Sombra goes down, I don't know why I was blinking on her name. Sombra goes down from 76. 76 is sitting on top of this. Yeah, 76 with a high ground. Gonna be tough for Wayne State to get out of that angle because there's nowhere they can hide from him. Yep. Looks like they're trying to take the whole team up to him right now. <laughs> I don't blame them considering that's a whole, that's an annoying thing to deal with the 76 shooting down on you. Yep. Just forcing him off. <laughs> now if I was SMSU, I'd just take up four people. <laughs> Do what they did. Looks I like Crash is trying funny. to take on the whole enemy team by himself, but does get taken down. Does get taken down, yep. 76 has to back up after that. I think he got hacked, yeah. SMSU so. going one going two for two here. Trying to hold hold off Wayne State a little bit. The mods are trying to just kill the uh, the Brigitte br and they the bring out the Briggle, which is uh, just too much for yep. Mystic to handle. And Lucian just gonna ride the wall. I'll try to buy Lucian is one time. of those annoying ones that you have to kind of try to chase down. Yep. He'll just ride all over the place. Does look like they are uh, going to get him. him. Yeah, so, uh, some boys are really annoying when once you get hacked. So, yeah. Hopefully, that's messy. We can take back the point here. That's messy. Just trying to get all. Okay, there. Genji. Come Does not look like that's is gonna gain any ground off this. They're just. They're not all up at the same time. Wayne State for refusing to let them all heal. Ooh, trash almost dies there. SMSU got the Ramatra ult coming up. That's been a big ult for them in the past. Yup. SMSU has three ults. Wayne State doesn't have three. He only has two. Here comes the Genji ult. Genji trying to just ult. get into the back line. Ah, but Zarya is going to take him down. 76 oh, ulting yeah, now. Oh, yeah, we got a 76 ult from on top. Maybe he gets my here. Yep. He gets two people with it. 
Oh, he, Soldier 76 picking up the 3k, taking out the tank, a yep. DPS, and a support. One of each. Oh, and, and then he gets the support. Uh, they are not getting 76 out of that area. Yep. That's when you did an excellent job. Samba there, trying homie. to hide in a corner, knowing that if she shows herself, she is going <laughs> to die. She's just dancing <laughs> in the corner right there. That is kind of funny. Because the second, the second one of these two jump down, she's going to hack him. Yep. Wow. And 76 is going to go down, almost killing Sombra, though. That's kind of unfortunate. That hack damage, letting Sombra be able to take that high ground. Yep. And oh. there comes the Sombra ult. That's going to be... Sombra hacking the whole team. Yep, but here comes the Ramatra ult. Oh, not enough my. HP to back it up. Yep. And looks like SMS is going to... Wait, but with Traz, he takes uh, Brigitte with him, so... But yeah, they're gonna take the point back. This match so far, SMSU has has done really good, really taking back the point. So hopefully they can take it back, just like they've been doing this entire game. Wait for SMSU everyone. about to have both of their support ult, support ults, but they have to watch out for grouping too tight together. They do take out the May for yep. moving the thread of her ult, but we do have the Brig ult coming Someone, out. Someone's gonna hack. Vegit is gonna use her ult. Lucian is gonna go down. Oh, is it Lucio? Lucio. Lucio. And oh, SMSU is starting to drop. Trash does pick up the brig. Yep. 76 just guessing where Samba's at because he saw her go up there. Try to kill him. Trying his best to try to to keep this angle, but uh, then goes down. Yeah. Then we have the classic Lucio jumping around the point. Does yep. get hacked, so he can't ride yes. the walls for a little bit. Here comes his ult though. Only hits two. Here comes Hamster. Oh, there's oh, the mail that the mail. SMSU had to watch but, out oh, for. Oh, but Moira just expertly just gets <laughs> out of it. Looks like that mail only uh, zoned them. SMSU for 76 a bit. ults. Oh, he just gets zoned off by Mai. This is a desperate fight for SMSU. They have uh, to try to get something here. That immortality field causing problems. Illiterate picking up two of SMSU's. SMSU has two alive. They're trying desperately to hold on, but yep. the fat T salt I feel is a bit overkill here. And there goes Hamster and Moria out. And SMSU loses the first default round. Yep. That was a tough one. Let's see who's gonna get play of the game here. It's gonna be. Oh, looks uh, like the, the, Sombra. the cheeky Sombra dancing in the corner play of the game. Probably when she dashed in and hacked. Yeah, this is the hack play, yep. This is just after her hack play when SMSU went completely down. Sombra, tough for SMSU yep. to deal with. Alright, so we'll see you guys in a couple of minutes for the game two. Uh, welcome back, SMSU peoples. Back on, I think this is hybrid. Yes, this is a hybrid map. Um, First control point, then a push. Yep. So very. Oh, okay. So we're gonna Rhino Heart hit just instantly coming out the gate. So looks like Wayne State is going to try to take a more shield focused approach, trying to get that probably get that Bastion in an angle, trying to slow SMSU down. The longer they slow SMSU here, the easier it is to win this game by stopping their push because yep. I have yet to see a team that does not take the control point at some point. <laughs> yeah, this is like, in my, I have really crappy opinions, but in my opinion, this is like one of the easiest maps to get the point. But yeah, it's a really short distance, so if yeah. you die, you're just three steps and you're already back. So, yeah. <laughs> so unlike a lot of other maps, when you gotta, it's like halfway across the map, you gotta walk back. So this is, this is one of the easier ones. Um, Interesting choice from Wayne State. Oh, it just blocks off. That was almost S really, really good. SMSU, I think, needs to swap someone over to Kiriko to cleanse that anti because that yep. just completely stopped their push right there. Yep. Um, I mean, to be fair, the, the Baptiste did save the Urisa with his, uh, I think it is the Immortality Fuel. So, yeah, this. Just zoning Mystic off. yet again getting yeah. walled off. This is a tough area for him, for them to be. My just not realizing bridge is just right there. Yep, and there she goes. SMSU now taking down both of the DPS are able to gain some ground. Yep. Playing a little bit more aggressive despite being anti to just get that Reinhardt away. Yeah, try and just get to the push part of the map. 
And I believe every time you get an objective, it's one minute? Yes. For bonus time? Yes. It adds okay. a minute. Yeah. It adds a... Looks like it adds about so one and a half minutes. One and minutes. a half minutes, yeah. So, so that gives SMSU a bit more time to just reorganize, get themselves back together. Oh, we didn't even see the Reinhardt died and now switched to Zarya. I was going to say earlier, it was a little like weird that she switched off Zyra because she was doing really good last match with her. Yeah, so. and that they burned an ult trying to save her. The Tree of Life yeah. didn't seem to do much. The Bastion ult. Immortality field just coming in. Not even... SMSU burning the Brig ult. Yeah. SMSU has almost all the ults compared to Wayne, who doesn't really have any. Zarya is Ooh, back. Zarya is nano right, yep. right now, which is. And there goes Bridge. SMSU. SMSU trying to fall back game just so they can regain some HP, but the Zarya is not letting them just leave that easy. Yeah, I, they really gotta hit, deal, deal with the Zarya a little better. Cause every time they bring up the bubble, they're just shooting her, and you gotta focus everyone else when that bubble comes up, and you wait until that bubble comes down. Cause as we see here, she's really good at taking advantage of that bubble. And look, the, they're just pushing up, getting right up in their face. Yeah, letting that bashing get some free damage off from the back. Life Weaver does pull the Zarya out the second she gets low, pulling back yep. around the corner of the healer. Bob doing something. Bob goes straight to sleep. Tree of life. <laughs> yeah, he, uh... <laughs> Bob needed a nap after running out there, but it doesn't look like Trash <laughs> is moving forward, taking them out. Tree of life there, that was a questionable ult from Life Weaver, but... SMH is just taking the point. I don't think they killed anyone, so Rain State just let them push... Them. Oh no, they were down a tank and... Oh, they were? Okay. Yeah, they were down their tank, so they had to back up just to create some space. Mai is going to pick up Ash there. Oh, oh the May ult the is... May ult. The May ult freezes. Fear oh. tactic. Yep. And then the Bastion is... Oh. That was so unnecessary. <laughs> that was a the, the biggest ba waste of The all. Bastion ult finishes him off, allowing them to push SMSU all the way back. Just put in some salt in the wound for no reason. So, like we were just enjoying the sound of him firing, so that's yeah, SMSU small right there. As someone who plays Life Weaver, I love that. So, SMSU has two ults, almost four coming up. While they have to watch out for the Zarya ult, if that Zarya gets nanoed in ults, then SMSU is going to lose a lot of HP really quickly. Yep. Oh, oh, they do take they out ba Bastion really quickly. Yo, just Baptiste ults here, but. That was a weird ult because everyone's already pushed up uh, around it and then he just gets zoned off. The Brig ult saving her for a little bit. And there goes my, yep. Perfect Brig ult right there. Kept her at 1 HP. Yep. So SMSU's not going to lose anyone, but Wayne State loses one of their damage people pushing them back. Wayne State struggling to just stop SMSU's aggressiveness. They just keep pushing up and they still have ults. Yep. Getting to the checkpoint, I think it added a minute, 30 seconds. Oh, oh here comes Zarya Zarya and she's nanoed. She's not nanoed yet. She shield is at 100%. Yeah. She is nanoed now. This is SMSU trying to deal with her. Tree yeah. of Life does come out. Zarya trying to heal. Gets out with yeah. 1 HP. And they do seem to be taking SMSU down here. This is Zarya is a very big problem for SMSU right now. Oh, the... Wayne State's Bastion May combo ends up taking out the rest of SMSU. Yeah, that was a tough one to lose for SMSU. On the plus side, they they did burn a few ults to get that done, but they do have the May Bastion ults coming up, which can easily kill some people. Yep. Zarya trying just to get some poke. Ash trying to find an angle to send Bob in. Yep. I can't really find one right now. Maybe this is a good angle. Gotta to be careful because Bob will run off the edge and just fall straight down. Yeah, but you can put him in this corner over here though. That big anti. I'm looking at. The Bob does come out. The Bob, Bob, Bob just gonna fight Bastion, ignoring everything else. Gets Bastion. 
Ah, uh, but everyone else is just... It wasn't enough. SMSU does go down in the rest. Yeah, Mai also ulted and I think got like three people with the ult. Maybe two. Wayne State now having two ults. The Zarya and the Baptiste ult. SMSU does have three ults. Unfortunately, two of them have to just be used absolutely perfectly. That would be the Orissa and the Cassidy ult. Cassidy, yep. I feel like Cassidy's ult is one of the absolute worst in the game. <laughs> I wouldn't say the worst, maybe the most skilled. He has to stand the fool. Oh, wow, the... Oh, oh, wow. Chat goes down to their wombo combo. I mean, that was that was a good wombo combo from Zarya and, and Bashan. Could have like used we it a little using a tree of life though. trying to stop SMSU and they do yet yeah. again Zarya just is a huge problem right now so they gotta figure out a way to deal with her I I do like the bashing pick because bashing goes through her shield quick it's still gonna give her all those points but they swap over to Ramatra but SMSU has less than a minute to get this point finished yep going back to the Ramatra trying to just Take the care. brick ult, brick trying to get forward, but the main High noon. Trash oh, does take out the bastion. One. The bastion with that. This is ult stack with, with uh. Yes. Wow, that's yeah. Zarya just goes Zarya, down. Zarya goes down. This gives SMSU the ability to make as much space as they need to move forward. Going after mine now. Oh, but Ana in. Oh no, Ana goes down. Yeah, yeah. Zarya Ana is coming up soon. Zarya is up. She's going to be tough to keep off this point. Just trash waiting, and then there goes that. Life Weaver pulling May over to stop their tank. It, oh, here comes the Maya. She got her ult off, which allowed her to get in SMSU needing. Oh, but they didn't take advantage of it. SMSU does take out the last of Wayne State's team and takes the first round with a three-pointer. 0.8 seconds left. That's okay. So they do win that one, <laughs> but if they go to overtime, they're not going to have a lot of time. Yeah, so um, it's going to... I think it's almost safe to say if they go into overtime, SMSU will just flat out lose. There's no <laughs> way they can get to the point in 0.8 seconds. Uh, no, they, in overtime, you gain a minute. Oh, you gain a minute. So they have they have a minute to take the, the point, and then they get an extra minute 30 from taking the point. So Here's it's, hoping we don't go into overtime, though, because a 0.8... Bonus isn't really going to give us much. Yeah, SMSU is going to have to waste a lot of time for the for Wayne State because it's going to be a tough one if we go to OT. Looks and, like they, it. and they have like four minutes to all point eight. <laughs> SMSU is falling back to their standard defensive group, Sigma, Bastion, and the <laughs> junk Bastion rat. just feels the, <laughs> the, the nade jump dead. <laughs> You had a bird's eye view of that. They gotta watch out for this widow getting this initial peek off. Whoa, that's that's a setup right there from Junker, <laughs> from Junkrat. It's gonna catch some mice with that. That widow, that that's what you is probably expecting it to happen, but expecting it doesn't stop widow from one shotting you. Oh yeah, yeah, widow is a very uh. How would I put it? Annoying <laughs> agent to deal with. Yeah, that that one shot headshot is already a lot. She with one bullet, she almost took out Bastion there. Yeah, oh and there goes Bastion. And it looks like Litter does clean it up. Which immediately forces SMSU to have to fall back a little. Yeah, I think uh I think Sigma should have put his shield up so he can just block. Widow, yeah, like just like that. Yeah, SMSU struggling to just stop them. Widow trying to pick off your tactic here. I don't like the Sigma, ult, uh, not the alt, the Sigma pick because Zarya can go through his uh, his absorb attack. So I think that SMSU swapping back for a Matra was exactly the play I was yep. going to call. Yep. Seems like that's their best bet for keeping for being able to tank that Zarya. Yep. And they really need to punish the Zarya just pushing up like this because they she shouldn't really be getting away with that, in my opinion. Um, SMSU is gonna lose point. SMSU lost point quicker than they gained it last time. Yep. Making, they but they do take out the Zarya, allowing them to just try to get move forward, clean up as many people as they can. But doesn't look like they're getting much out of that. Nope. 
Widowmaker just still alive, has her ult too. So, yep. And the spawn right is right there for Wayne State, so it's gonna be a tough one. Maybe Widow uh, does ult here. Yeah, maybe SMSU has Zarya's number now. Maybe not. She's still at full HP. And here comes the Zarya ult. But Baptiste is gonna also ult. Both Baptiste's. Both Baptiste's. <laughs> trying to just even out this fight a little bit. Yep. It does look like SMSU is taking is losing this fight pretty quickly. They bring out the Brig ult to try to just survive uh, that Widow is just Z uh, Zenyatta is just gonna ult there and negate everything that's tough fight SMSU did not win that fight at all burning all of their ults except for the bastion who got picked off early yep and once again Zarya big play there hiding in the corner away from the uh the Baptiste ult just not get getting hit by it and they couldn't they the the Wayne State's Baptiste part was more utilized than SMSU, so that was that was the story if, of that fight. If I was SMSU and I saw the Zarya stepping up so much, I would swap someone over to Mei. Just keep her walled off, keep her from going back yep. to her team. Just punish her for how far she pushes forward. Yeah, she likes to play really aggressive, so you guys got to figure out a way to make her stop playing so aggressive. Junk Rat almost getting killed by Baptiste. Junkrat does go down to Baptiste, and it looks like Chap is also going to go down. But Chap does take, but looks like Bastion takes the Widowmaker. Looks like SMSU is about to get three ults here. Chap switching to Ana now. Oh man, yeah, four minutes. Four minutes seconds. to hold this area. That's going to be a tough one for SMSU. It's, it's doable. It seems like they're struggling to even take down one of Wayne State's. Yeah, struggling to take, just take down Zarya. So, I agree with you. They need to get a Mai out here just to just zone off the Zarya, punish her for pushing up this far. SMSU giving them so much room to work with. Holding their ults, they have three ults, almost four ults coming up. This is not the time oh, to trash, hold these. Trash, trash, trash himself. Trash actually. falls. Yeah, <laughs> it happens on this map. There's a lot of places to fall. Widow so ult speak in French, and there goes Baptiste. That's because you did win this fight, but they still have to hold this out for three <laughs> for over three minutes. But they yep. have four ults coming up. The Ana ult's gonna come up soon, so they'll have five ults, and they're just holding them. Uh, looks like Wayne is also about to get four ults here soon too. Looks like Widowmaker does go down, but it's gonna come down to who can use their ults in the best way. Yep. Honestly, so, yeah. if I was SMSU, I would use this Junkrat ult. Get burn the Zenyatta ult before the fight starts. Oh, they do take out the 76. Yep. It comes to Baptiste ult. Baptiste ult out. And uh, Zarya, both tanks are down for both teams now. But it looks like Wayne State is going to give SMSU a bit more room to breathe after losing that one. Yeah, so that's a, that's a better trade for both tanks dying. It's a better trade for SMSU because it just stops the push. So. Yeah, it looks like that Wayne State is getting rid of the Zarya, which SMSU should be thankful for, except that this is um, of a mantra. Yep. Oh, they switched to... Yeah, okay, so now we have Ramatra versus Ramatra. It does look like they Here are comes the junk rat ult. Oh, the Zenyatta ult coming out right now. Oh, Zenyatta just put in the Baptiste ult also coming in. Oh, we got everyone. Oh, we got ult from everybody. Bastion ulting here. Mystic, the only one holding on to his ult. Yeah, just holding on to it. I think that's a smart play. You don't want to burn all of the ults here. Trash swapping back to the Genji. And then we got Akira coming out trying to counter that anti-heal. Yep. Mystic does go down, still without burning his ult. SMSU has to hold off right now. With no tank, by the way. I think if you're if you're Mystic, once you get out here, you pop ult. If you have the opportunity to even get out here in time. Yup. I had ult, yes. Mystic ulting, just trying to stop them. They can't, SMSU cannot move too far from this point, because if it moves another inch, it's all over. Does not look like the one. Rumatha ult does pick up the Kiriko. Yep. 
the, the rain stays for Rumatra going to sleep. Rumatra's punching each other. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of funny. Does look like SMSU Rumatra's is going, going to down. win that one. Trash, Trash and Rumatra up against 76. Oh. Tra the soldier does pick up Mystic, but goes down himself. Yep. Get, buying SMSU yep. a few more seconds. Yep. And even if we go to overtime, just waste as much time as possible because you don't have as much time as them. So yeah, make it as even as possible. SMSU has one ult coming, has one ult in the Bastion ult coming up. Yep. While it looks like Wayne States has three that are coming up around the same time. So this next fight's gonna be very close. And this is a nail biter right now. It's like, oh, we do have our Genji ult. Fear no, tactic bat pops his ult. Trying to pick someone up does go down. Two people are down for Wayne State. SMS, right now this fight's in favor of SMFDCU. If they can just hold off and not overextend here, the Genji yep. does go in trying to kill someone, anyone. Ramatra very SMSU low. SMSU hanging on to this fight. Ramatra yeah. is ulting now. But the Ramatra ult is... Can SMSU kill him? Yes, they, yes, they do. SMSU holding on to this fight. Winning this fight. Here comes the Kiriko ult though. Kiriko goes down. Lucian goes SMSU down. SMSU stopping their push completely in their tracks. Are we not going to go to overtime? SMSU pulling off the... Here comes Hamster. We got a Hamster desperate... Trying to get, trying just. Oh, 76 is ulting now. He's trying his best to hold on to this, but 76 does go down. SMSU has to hold on just a bit longer. They are winning this fight. Yep. Going after Kiriko now. Wayne State Here oh, comes got two the ult alive. from. And Gitz. Wayne State loses everyone. That is an. That's. I saw. I'm in disbelief. My, my fault. I can't believe SMSU pulled that off. They came from barely making it to the end the first time to. Winning back to back team fights. Wow. And the play of the game is going to go to Win State's uh, Bastion here. Yeah, that disgusting combo with the Zarya ult. Yeah. I would have paid to be on the receiving end of that, but SMSU pulling off one of the closest fights that we've seen yet. I feel like if you play Bastion, you are back and we get played of the game. <laughs> uh, so we'll see you guys uh, for round three. Welcome back to round three on Flashpoint, I think this is called. Yeah, Flashpoint is one of the new game modes that were recently added. Honestly, it's really just a super fast control. It's very crazy and constant fighting happens. Yeah, if you ever play Call of Duty Hardpoint, same thing. So, just a little more fun in my opinion. SMSU going back to an aggressive team comp, just trying to win this first fight. because. From what I've heard about Flashpoint, that's pretty much how it goes. You win the first fight, you kind of just win. While it looks like Wayne is Wayne State is just going to try to go for a sustained base cop, trying to outlast SMSU's. Yep, and or the trick trick. I'm gonna call him Tick. I don't know. I don't know how to say his whole name. He was playing a lot of Zarya. Now he switched to Orisa. So. To see how all of that works out for him. He's really good on Zarya, so I'm surprised he's switching off here. So, let's see what's gonna happen. Trash back on Echo. And I think SMS was, was preparing for Zarya and was very surprised when Orisa walked out. Yeah, SMS you immediately taking over the flashpoint. Yep. Wow, that countdown does go uh, go up really fast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a little quicker than control. So, and uh, Wayne bringing back up the Sombra, who is putting a lot of work. To press Crash game. does go down, except they trade with the Lucio. Yep, because Moyo already gets her all up. Ooh. Gets chapped. but gets Sombra with it. That's because you just trading each other in these fights. Yep, and now uh, Soldier will have her abilities back after being hacked. It just backs off. Wayne State taking control of the flashpoint after SMSU gets it to an even 50%. SMSU just trying to gear up for another. They have their ults coming up faster than Wayne State does. Yep, I was lost in thought there. My fault. Um, 
Yeah, so SMSU trying to just get back the point now. Honestly, this map seems Ooh, perfect for an Orisa one. hold. It's tight, small, and it's going to be hard for anyone to get out of it. May pop her ice cube. Now here comes the Drunken Queen, all, getting three people with that. Oh, wow. But, but he's, he's all alone. He does, They do take out the May. Yep, and Orisa just has to back off because she got a little too low there. Vegeta just trying to die. Oh, we got oh, the Arisa ult. Comes the Arisa ult uh, and doesn't kill anyone thanks to Baptiste's vulnerability. But Sombra does end up taking the Baptiste, gets traded by the Sojourn. Yep, SMS is struggling to take back the Clash point right now. Sojourn getting two tank before versus tank. down. And oh. the tank wins. <laughs> what an even... That was a pretty even fight. It was close. It could have gone either way. It yep. does look like the May ult is up, which, again, another ult that seems super strong in this game mode, considering how big it is and how small this map is. I don't like the play from Mystic right now. You have to get back on this point. Yeah, giving a lot of room for Wayne State, but he's just wait, waiting for his team to catch up. But they, they need to get down there, because Mystic now down here by himself, while his team is above. Yeah. Got, oh, there goes the, the echo. The May ult is literally the arena. Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god, yeah, that is kind of stupid if I'm being honest. <laughs> the Lucio ult does oh help SMSU survive that. Helps Wayne State survive that, my bad. But they end up taking in. out Baptiste. Oh, and Wayne State just cleaning up now. Yep. Soldier I'm going down now. So this is overtime. SMSU does drop the first flash point. We lose the first flashpoint. That that May ult did not realize how big it was compared to the rest yeah, of the arena. Was, There's no, no way you get out of that. Yeah, that's uh, I think that's what we call in the business a skill issue. Um, <laughs> that's a little tough. I think it's first to three. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's best of three, yeah. Or no, for, for flashpoint. First to three. Might be first to three. I. I am gonna be real. I've never played this game mode ever. I, I've played it a couple of times. I think it's either first to three or first to five. I do not remember though. So. Both teams just trying to get some damage off before the second flash point opens. Uh, I flash I point is open, but as the two took a lot of damage off that skirmish, does your tactic getting close to going down? Yep, and oh, like cap. cap. Oh, they got the Arisa ult again. Ult. And just cleaning up SMSU. Oh man. SMSU just not enough health to survive that. Yeah, Arisa is, ult is also the size of the. Mystic Ooh, ulting, what? just trying to get out, just I... trying to make some space, but looks like they're just going to chase. What a weird. Oh. And he's just gonna die anyways. Maybe he just wants to switch off, Junker Queen? Otherwise, that's. I do think SMSU does need to swap up their team comp just yep. a little. We yep. see a counter Orisa coming out. So Orisa's all is the size of the. Of the sorry, I didn't yeah. mean to cut you off, but <laughs> I was gonna complain about how big these ults are. Yeah, how big these ults are and how small these maps are. Yeah, they're just the size of their arena. That is. I mean, State does have three ults up, so this fight, this next fight, is definitely in their favor. Oh, here comes Amora's ult. Sorry. Oh, combined oh. with the Samar ult, that was disgusting. Gets four people of stuff. Oh, Sombra and then ult. the May ult afterwards, just not giving SMSU any room to recover. Hitting them with one ult after the other. They did burn four ults in this fight, but they did win it, and the flashpoint is almost taken over. Yep, that's a tough one. SMSU oh, struggling, okay. struggling to recover from that. Soldier ults and just dies. So the story of this one is some very interesting ults from SMSU. <laughs> that is... SMSU struggling to just stop the constant pressure that Wayne State has been giving to them. Yeah, but it looks like they're going to get the spawn advantage. Dang. Maybe not. Maybe that's just the spawn. I don't know. Flashpoint is almost completely hinged off of that first one as the just struggling to push them back but it's just not yeah. working out for them at all sombra is a problem again kind of like how that first match went down that summer was just a very big problem for smith yeah trash hack trash dead takes the one for one trade though so not the biggest that's what you're just trying to hold off this flashpoint this is their last make or break they have to do this why is there an E in the middle of 
Yeah. Name of the flashpoint. Okay. We learn something new every day, guys. So, I suppose you immediately you getting loses. pushed off of it. Wow. I suppose you're just struggling to make any sort of ground here. They just keep there's their spawn through desync because flashpoint's too fast for them to wait. They have to. Orisa all coming out. Orisa all takes two. two. Orisa has gotten her. It all cleans up with a three K. That's why I play the game right there. If I had, if I was a bet man. I think, yeah, Orisa's gotten her all three times so far, so. Yeah, that mm. Orisa's just been sitting in the middle of SMS. You're just charging off that ult, and they just can't seem to take her out. Yeah, I, it's a little frustrating, but you know what? It's fine. SMSU going to have four ults coming up soon, but with the mail close behind. They yep. saw what they saw what happened when Wayne State utilized those ults, so they decided to use them herself. Trash does go down in a 1v1 with the May. Ults again. Both more ults coming out, trying to keep their tanks alive. Very interesting. Oh, not even really interesting, a little funny in my opinion. Oh, it does look like uh, Mystic does go down. We see the May ult break out. <laughs> Lucian's gonna ult right before he gets frozen. And but it looks like that's the game. this flashpoint match does go to Wayne State. That was quick. Unfortunately, SMSU kind of got demolished. So hopefully the next game, which I think is push, uh, hopefully they can come back from it. Yeah, but this is going to get the... Uh, it's going to get the... I'm guessing it's a three... No, it wasn't the three-piece. Oh, wait, I guess this was a three-piece. Yeah. Maybe even a four? Uh, All right, so we'll see you guys in a couple minutes for the next one. <laughs> Welcome back to the next game. We are playing push at Coliseo. Not one of SMSU's strongest push maps, but it's the one they have to deal with. We're probably going to see SMSU use their same aggressive comp. I wouldn't be surprised if the Junker Queen comes out here. Uh, yeah, so hopefully they're down two to, wait, two to one, right? Yeah, so down yeah, two to one. If they lose one. this and they lose the set. Yep, so they want to win this one so we can go into the fifth game. Playing on push, hopefully SMSU does a really good job. Uh, during preseason, they didn't really get to push because we were kind of dominant. So we might have had one or two push maps, and I think we won them. So SMSU bringing out three heroes that we haven't seen in this game today. <laughs> <laughs> they bringing out the Zarya on their side, Hanzo and Mercy. Honestly, I think the Mercy pick is a little bit weird. Mercy needs shields to survive. I but mean, it does look like Wayne yeah. Wayne State does lack the hit scan to just kill her. Well, Sombra gets right behind her and it's over. So, Sombra has been a real big problem. I'm surprised they shied away from Zarya. Tick did. So Zarya, he was doing. I guess he's doing good with Arisa too. So maybe we'll. We'll see what happens here. See, we're seeing Wayne State treat the Zarya properly. They saw this bubble come up and they just stopped firing it's completely. Just ignored her. That was just but it does to. look like he is at a hundred percent charge. Or close to it. Trash is taking a nap. Yep, there we go. Zoning off of Rissa. Rissa's confusing. I can't move back that, anymore. That's the power of May. <laughs> Once that tank pushes forward to us, but Arissa was just too tanky. And there we go. Destroyed on her way back. It does look like SMSU does win this team fight and is the first to take control of the robot. Looks like that Arissa was kind of confused. Like, why? I'm, I'm holding back my key. I can't move back. What's going on? <laughs> Not realizing that wall was right behind her. Trying to get some... some oh... They got some intel on where the Sombra is. Sombra not able to take out. The Hanzo almost died herself for trying to. Yep. I think Hanzo one shot headshots her too? Yes. Hanzo one shot headshots everyone except for the tanks. Yep. So. Your tactic of... does get taken out by the anti. Zarya just revealed Sombra but there. Just gets revived by the Mercy. SMSU now on top with four v in a four v five. Tick brings back the Zarya now. He's like, "Hey, are you playing Zarya now?" And so am I. SMSU has two ults and they're burning the Hanzo ult. Oh, that was 
That was uh, a using, using the zoning ult to just try to make some space, but it does look like they are struggling to deal with the Zarya all over there again. Goes mine. Take out May, but now Mystic is all by himself against three people and goes it down. Goes down yeah. That's tough. Did make a little progress on the point though. Tick I, brings back out Zarya and just is out playing. <laughs> I hate to say it. Obviously practices Zarya a lot, so. Both teams sitting on three ults. They almost have the Mercy ult coming up soon. Yup, and then with a range state, they have three ults. They have Zarya coming up soon too. I think this next fight's gonna come. We're gonna see quite a few ults come out to play. Yep. SSU does have now their four ults. The only one who doesn't have ult is Hanzo. They do break out the May ult, which is immediately cleansed by the Kiriko. Yeah, I didn't even know Kiriko could do that. That is. I guess I'm using that now. And Anti Mystic does ult just to try to get them close together. Kiriko, Kiriko gets ulted. We got a Mercy ult going out, just healing everyone. Mystic oh. not able to move out of the May ult. She just barely misses, uh, doesn't get out. Wow, that is tough. It's always tough when when the enemy team is Kiriko and you don't have one of your own, of your own to clear that cl that slow right there. Wayne State still has two ults, Somber ults is coming up soon. Yo, and SDSU has Ana ult, so Nano, I don't know who you would Nano here. Breaking back out the the monster that we've seen a few times seemed to be pretty good. Mystic is pretty comfortable on it. Yep. The wall does kill the Zarya. She was not able to get a, back to her team. Yeah, that's what they needed to do the first couple of rounds uh, games. Oh, Mystic going in and punching <laughs> SMSU winning the team by taking back control of the robot. Just trying, hopefully, to get it to the checkpoint to just even this out. Battle Mercy came off there to try to kill Sombra. That was a little funny. So Mystic just gets off his Arya, goes back to the bread and butter Ramatra. Uh, looks like Trash goes down, but it gets rezzed immediately. Yeah, that was a great wall there. Oh, but there so goes. Ramatra hacked the entire team, but. What an ult. Wow. Mystic just trying to take out the Zarya, trying to keep it from killing his whole team, but unable to get off enough damage to do that. Yep, and he gets anti here and the yep, goes down. That's tough. SMSU just doesn't have an answer for the Zarya right now. It's both May ults are about to come up. Just zones off. Hanzo. And there goes Hanzo. Mercy gotta be a little careful here. Yeah. That was a little questionable. He died from the 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 anti. I didn't know you could kill someone with the anti, okay. Which is back to what he knows best, uh... Bridget? I don't know why I was playing on him. We got SMSU using their mail, trying to get anything. They do free the Kiriko, who had already burned her cleanse. Yep. And the Ramatra comes out, and SMSU cleans up and wins and wins this team fight. We gotta get this robot all the way across the map, just to make some progress. Had to use two ults in that, in that fight, too, so that was a little tough. They gotta watch out for this uh, incoming May ult that combined just with their team. SMSU just doesn't have an answer for it since they don't have a cleanse. Yeah, the uh, Zarya ult and May ults, it's kind of a wrap. That's a little tough. Zarya is just trying to make it back to her team, but May is just taking her out. Yep. Now Wayne State's down their tank, but SMSU's down both of their support. We got a Kira ult coming out. There goes 76. Mystic trying to get as much damage off as possible. Trying to just take down the supports. But the supports are just too squirrely to deal with. Yep, Kiwiko and we'll do that. Just getting away with efficiency. And just, you're gonna get walled off here and yep, there, there he goes. So the SMSU gets the Zarya, which is the person they're struggling a lot with. But then just doesn't capitalize on it because the supports are just trying to kill the Ramatra and a tough one. SMSU now having to wait for their tank to get back before they can commit to a fight. They do force May to use her icicle. Nope. Zarya is coming back for Wayne State. 
trying Someone to get as much in. poke off. And this is about the time when SBSU should go in. Wayne State's team is about halfway across the board. They do take out the Soldier 76. Yep. We got the Brig ult coming out, allowing SMSU to just push forward, just capitalize on the fact that now Wayne State's down two DPSs. Zara's almost dead here. They do yep. get the Zarya, so now they have control for just another few moments to push this robot. They're trying to pick up this Kiriko, who just is impossible to kill. Yep. Kiriko is very good at evading people with her, her TP and cleanse. That's so. SMSU sitting on three ults. I know that this Ana's waiting for this Ramatra to have it to have his ult. Because then he's an actual monster to deal with. <laughs> SMSU getting some distance that they desperately needed to, to get. Trying okay. to get the forward respawn point. Sorry, they're taking the 4v1. Oh, the May ult comes out and does freeze the Ramatra. Comes but the Hanzo, Hanzo ult just ult. as backup. We had double May ults out in the Get Zarya with the combo. Mystic got to just walk away with from that. Yeah, that that was a good play there from SMSU. Getting the Maya all, all off, freezing, and then Hanzo just... We got a Soldier ult out. Ulting. Soldier just trying to get whatever damage, but SMSU just runs around a corner. Yeah, it does look like he does pick up the Hanzo. Mystic SMSU. now sitting on his ult. Yep. Just trying to go after everyone else except Zarya right now. I think Mystic's best bet is just to ult, get this May. Oh, yep. you get the May anyway. No, you gotta focus. Oh, but Kiriko comes in with a teleport. Zarya's gonna ult. Oh, doesn't, they get the Kiriko. Yeah, gets Kiriko, doesn't do a whole of the ult. The Zarya is just a problem Mystic, right now, though. Mystic hoping his teammates can get here soon enough to Mystic save him from this. Alting. That was a little bit of a questionable ult. And he's gonna go down. They do get the forward spawn, but for how much longer? Only a few seconds longer. SMSU does get one respawn off during this, but immediate trash immediately goes down. <sighs> yeah, we have 50 seconds left, so. Looks like whatever the next team fight is is gonna really decide the game. Yeah, SMSU's 12 meters down. They gotta turn this robot around really soon they want any chance of pushing past. Is it, yeah, is it, that was a weird cutoff, but yes. Uh, SMSU really wants to play a little aggressive here. With 25 seconds left. If they lose this team fight, they lose the game. They do have to break up. They can afford to push forward. They can afford to be aggressive. Greg stuns the Zarya, but gets pushed back immediately. Yep. They do pick up the Sombra as they keep just trying to take this momentum forward. Trash has his ult, so they gotta be careful about grouping up tightly. Here comes all oh, May ult. So that was a little bit of a May ult weird ult. ult. May ult made some space so that they can keep Ooh. pushing forward. They are trying to take out the Zarya. There they take Zarya. her out. <laughs> SMSU has all five up while Wayne State has a unseen so junk red ult. Junk red tire does not it's get no anyone. One. Wayne State just oh. trying to stop this push with unsynced backs, but they are going down one by one. SMSU is still pushing forward. They're just oh, killing just them barely as they spawn. And SMSU it. just barely pulled it off, bringing this set to 2-2. Two, two. We are going to a game five, baby. Let's go, SMSU. That's twice we've seen SMSU pull off some super close games. Mystic with the play of the game here. Oh, man. What a play. Gets the three piece. Oh man, SMSU coming back. It was like 78 to 33. Yeah, it, it was, was it was tough. I um, SMSU got that momentum. They kept going forward and let's hope they can carry this momentum over and through game three. Game five. Game five. Game five. Game All five right. and get three points. See you in a little bit. Alright. Welcome back. Game five hype. We got Escort. I don't know what the map is called. It's Shambali Monastery or something like that. I probably butchered it. So Canada or Russia. It's snowing. <laughs> um, so, okay. I'm not wrong, but right. I'm also not right. We see a Tracer getting brought out. Nice aggressive pick to counter the Sombra who likes to just take all these 1v1s. Yep. And... Uh, we're gonna see a new champ for Wayne 
junk rat. Um, yeah, Wayne breaking out the junk rat and the life weaver again. Yep. Life weaver. Mm, you guys were supposed to pick side. Oop. Oopsie daisy. Anyways, match is gonna start. Five, four, three. All right, we're sticking with what we got. All right, cool. Problem solved. Um. <laughs> This, uh, okay, so this escort map, in my opinion, is one of the hardest because this choke point right here is super difficult to get past. And there's multiple choke points in this map. Cap taking a lot of damage already just off the bat. Getting that heal, oh, it heals back though, so not that big of a deal. Looks like the May does chase down the Somber, taking her out, yep. but now far away from the fight where her teammates are deep in it. But comes on from the side to try to fight the Orisa. Yup. Tracer coming in from the back trying to get rid of these supports. I think she ran it back a little too soon there. Got blown off. I don't know what happened there. Anyways, SMSU trying to kill this Orisa right now. They're very close. Yep, there she goes. The Arisa, but the Sombra now just came from the sky, and SMSU. What? SMSU is wondering. How did what? he not hear her there while she was in the corner? Trash just spraying everywhere, trying to make sure this Sombra isn't super close to them. Sombra just hiding yeah, in the corner, yeah, trying to yeah. get support. But it looks like Trace is going to just hunt her down a little bit to back off right when her team starts to fight. Yeah. Mystic now being hit by three people, but still surviving. But Chap does go Chap down after down. trying to save him. We see the Tracer Sombra. Bomb go off, do a bit of damage enough for them to finish off the Orisa. So, Wayne is down a tank, but... Right now, there's it goes a Joker right? Sombra just being a pain for the supports to deal with. They're gonna get the first point. I think it's a minute, 30 seconds. So... SMSU with two alts, a third one coming. Sombra just hacking, Wayne. trying to just slow them down. But <laughs> Sombra does get taken out. Wayne, they about to have four alts, two SMSU's three. <laughs> SMSU needing to group kind of tightly around this bat piece for when they hear this junk rat ult, so they can hide under his own locality. Yep. Trying to apply some pressure has messed you with her. Orissa gets the four-man all. Oh. Charges it fully and gets Baptiste. But, but May all coming out here, freezing them in place. Baptiste ults now. They don't kill Orissa with that ult though. That's a missed opportunity. And then SMSU some more alts. Could not handle. SMSU should have saved some of the. Should have saved that Ramatra ult for when the team was up. Yep. I think as soon as. Uh, I think Trash died there. As soon as he dies, you might just want to wait. Well, either one of the DPS through the push right now. Well, and they're only about halfway through the next checkpoint, so they just have to win a couple more fights, get to the next checkpoint, then they can relax, sit back a little. Samba trying to get this tracer right now. Tracer just gets away. Tracer almost with her ult also. No, Risa just doesn't notice the, the oh, launch here. Junkrat Tire coming out does take out the May. Yep. Unacceptable. See, SMSU is losing this team fight right now. The monster trying to just to get away. Trying his best to escape, but Sombra's just trying to do as much damage as possible. Yep. Junkrat using that narrow alley to just fire bombs through, hoping one hits. <laughs> He's just standing there. That's not hitting me, man. So. Samba reveals her location by throwing her TP. Gets out though. SMSU, two old, two lane states, none. They should they definitely are in a position to apply a little bit more pressure, but the Sombra is annoying the supports right now. Yep, Samantra so getting out now. Sombra. Doesn't like out. Tracer, does do a bit of damage, takes out the bat. Gets, there you go, there, gets the tank, gets Wait. the support. Wayne only has their DPS left and they're trying desperately to escape this fight which it looks like they're going uh, to uh, if mystic got to back up here mystic way too far ahead yeah. just trying to punch this junk rat may launching him up in the air but the Sombra Sombra got caught. trying to make a play there i don't know what that was about they gotta watch out orissa does have Owen. she's standing in the middle of their team 
She does get it off and does doesn't get anyone. only destroys the immortality field and then picks up the brig right after. We see the male just trying to do as much damage. Yep. Mystic chasing the Bastion to, with his ult but gets taken out. SMSU no. SMSU overextending heavily in this fight instead yep. of just staying tightly grouped up forces everyone to try to take these 1v1s which they don't win. Yeah. Go ahead, I'm almost agreeing with you. Oh, it, <laughs> it, it looks like they, they, oh, they were just shy of the checkpoint. Yeah, they were just shy of it. Yeah, it's kind of sad. I'd, uh, I'd be upset if I was SMSU. SMSU was so close to getting that next checkpoint. And they only have one ult up right now. So you have to be careful about this fight. Looks like Tracer does use her ult, but Rick just absorbs it on the Junker shield. Rat. Junkrat using... Oh! Rick taking out the tire! Baptiste ulting here now. SMSU just trying their best to get this point on the checkpoint, but they just can't seem to gain anything off of this and it looks like they have they're gonna have one more team fight left in them as much you has to land has to they have to kill this tank so that they can get through yep and trash going down there that was a great heads up play from chapter realizing the junk the junk rat alt was coming and just takes out the the wheel so as much you're trying to push up the side trying to get just directly on top of the point Yep, switching to Reaper too, and Genji. Like Trash is going to try to distract him a little bit, try to get on the flank. Yeah, they really need to be aggressive here right now. Yeah, they break out the brig, also try to keep yep. everyone alive, try to push them off the point. Now Orisa is, is stuck dealing with SMSU. Orisa, but these alts, Orisa, about to die here. SMSU yep. not winning this fight very well. Yeah. They lost both of their supports, but they are taking out their DPS. All that's left is the Bastion is the only one left. And, and he gets taken there out. he SMSU goes. SMSU going to secure the checkpoint. Gets another minute 30 on the clock. SMSU has to push as far as they can. Yep. Waiting for their team to respawn, but some of them did get to use the forward spawn. And SMSU not winning a pretty... It was a good team fight, but it wasn't that convincing, in my opinion. They're kind of struggling a little bit, they so... They do have two ults up. That Reaper's going to start looking for an angle to get on those supports to ult them, get them off the map. They do take out the Brig, yep. except Trash gets traded. So nothing's going to come of it. There goes Reaper. That's unfortunate. Orisa just trying to push them back up the point so she can just push it back just a little bit, but... And it looks like SMS users is going to give up the ground. Deciding yep. that fight was not worth it. They were not winning it. They still have time. So, yeah, I think that's a smart play. Just wait for your people to come back and help out. The worst thing that could happen here is if, if their respawns get unsynced. Yep. It does look like they are taking a lot of damage. Vermont oh, it comes a much result. But Bastion is just doing damage to him, trying to keep him back. Genji's ulting. SMSU just being aggressive, trying to take out everyone. Oh. Looks like they are going to completely take out Wayne State. So it's up to Soldier now to hold off five of them. Yep. I don't think they're going to get to it in time. Trash just going forward, going to stall them as much as possible. And it looks like SMSU gets this. Yeah, they're going to get it with 1.1 seconds. So the same problem from hybrid they, yeah. they don't have a lot of time so they're gonna need to waste as much time as possible SMSU, yeah they struggled to get that point moving especially through that one that one fight so it's all gonna come down to how well they can stop wayne here yeah and that choke it's it was kind of unfortunate like they just barely didn't get that checkpoint if they got that checkpoint and they then they got team wiped wouldn't have been a big deal because the spawn is right there so they could have applied a lot more pressure, but because they didn't get that checkpoint, the spawn was still far back. So they had to run across the map to try to get that checkpoint. So hopefully SMSU plays some really good defense. This is one of the biggest choke points in the map right here. So it's hopefully like they play well. bringing back their same. They're running it back one more time, minus the Genji. Just yeah. Um, that team comp did work out pretty decently for them. Uh, looks like Wayne State is breaking out the Farah Mercy duo, which 
is going to be awful for SBCU to deal with since the only hit scan they have is on their support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> they have no one who's good at taking out flyers. Yeah, and I think uh, I think Wayne State realized that and was like, you know what? Let's let's get let's get this mercy. Let's get far and let's just go at them. You know. Yeah, this mercy is gonna get a rude awakening, and I bet you we're gonna see them swap off some some heroes really quickly. <laughs> yeah, here, here it is the the two flowers. I really dislike that that's in the game in my opinion <laughs> it's a hard it's a hard thing to deal with it requires like an entire team change but they do take the bat piece but get oh, res immediately res. by the mercy and they oh they're down a tank they're down a dps and they're down the bat piece yet again yep. smsu not caring that they get don't have the hit scan just taking them out anyways and far has to back off here um Hello. that was a really good uh, team fight there from SMSU yeah. did not expect SMSU to win that one. Yep, uh, it all started when Baptiste goes down, and then you gotta waste Mercy Res on a support, and that's kind of unfortunate. Switching off Mercy, and we're bringing in Honor. Oh, and the Fara goes down. We got a Sigma coming from Wayne. Oh, Reaper's gonna die here, maybe? Nope, he didn't die. He did get put to sleep, though. So. SMSU applying pressure to the Sigma. 76 almost dies there. SMSU doing good, keeping up some forward pressure, but they are taking a lot of damage while trying to do this. SMSU. SMSU gonna have to watch out soon for this far ult that's almost up. This is the perfect spot for her to ult. Yep, and, and here it comes. Wait. Oh, wait, no, okay, I got a little too excited for some reason. <laughs> they used the May ult to, to take out their Sigma, and now they're down their tank yet again. Yep. And S one S problem... S yeah, SMSU has to watch out for that alley, though. Yeah, one problem for SMSU is that they're all kind of grouping together right here, and for our alts, it's, it's gonna be a team wipe, almost. Yeah, it's gonna be a moment where they're gonna wish they had a hit scan to take her out quickly, because the amount of damage her ult can get off in a short period of time is crazy. Three antis here. Here comes the Sigma ult. May is gonna go into an ice level. There's the far ult that we were worried about. She does only Ooh. take one. The brig eats up some of it. Oh, gets three, four oh, people with Reaper. That Reaper getting the 5k. Oh man, who needs a hit scan when you have Reaper? <laughs> you have, exactly. <laughs> that was an amazing ult there from Reaper. And SMSU just at this choke point, not giving up. The defense has yet to break. Yeah, SMSU refusing to change up their team comp is just applying constant pressure, forcing Wayne to have to there change. There goes Samba. Wayne changing heroes at every single phase. Yep, they're kind of struggling to find something that works for them right now. They need something to try to deal with that Reaper because that was horrible for them. Locking SMSU off the doing escape. a good job. Wayne has a minute to get to the next checkpoint, but it does not look like they're moving. Oh, Reaper dies Reaper there. Reaper goes down, but SMSU is still trying to hold strong. They are sitting on the Ramatra ult, so they they are in a place where they can get Chat a little. Goes down. But Maze right behind is anti. Gets oh, we 76. See the May, ult. May did ult. Not entirely sure where that went off to. Hit. Yeah, I don't know where that... I think she died as soon as she popped it. So it didn't register the ult. Which... I'd probably break the control SMSU over that. Has to put the stop has to put the stop here now. Unless they want to deal with this for another minute 30. And SMSU did waste a lot of time. They, they, they are down 1.1. So... I'm not too mad here from SMSU. Interesting shield placement there from Omatra. SMSU should just pop the Ramatra ult right now. There we go, Ramatra ult going out. Yep. Doing damage even though he's stunned. And SMSU wins this fight. Oh, they lose their tank. This is not looking good for Wayne State. They're getting pushed back off the point. And that's they gonna do it. SMSU takes, takes game five to win the set. SMSU's Overwatch team starts off the season 1-0. Oh, what a fantastic way to start things off. Oh, and we get to see this glorious Reaper play. From, from his perspective. This was amazing right here. Different Reaper play. Oh, it's a different one. Huh, I like the 5 really, We've seen some really good plays coming from this Reaper. 
And the thing is, Wayne State just didn't have an answer for it. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Oh, wait. We're actually going to have an interview, right? Yes, we're going to have an interview in a couple minutes with... With the captain of the Overwatch with team. With the captain of yeah, the Overwatch at team. At Mystic. At Mystic. So um, stay tuned for that. It should be a couple minutes here, so... And welcome back. We've got an interview here real quick for the game of the week for Overwatch with Drew was playing the tank in the series night. Mystic, how's it going? It's going good. Um, it was really stressful, but it was good. Yeah, yeah. A very hype way to start the season. And obviously with the first uh, game of the regular season being the Overwatch game of the year, how do you feel the team performed tonight? I think the team performed overall really well, especially for having two new people on the team that weren't here last year. Um, there's definitely room for improvement, especially with our coordination and our use of alts. But overall, I feel like we played really well as a team. And especially towards the end, we started having a lot better callouts. And yeah, just towards the end, it felt really, really good. It was awesome. Yeah, a little bit of a comeback there yeah. from the, the Overwatch team winning those last two maps. When you start down 1 2, it's a little scary. You know, you can't make any mistakes. And, you know, push being such a close map there, mm -hmm. kind of crazy. Uh, how close that series ended up being um overwatch you know is something new for smsu esports you know last year the spring of 2023 was our first semester how do you feel like the team's been progressing since it got created i think it's night and day honestly compared mm -hmm. to last year like last year it was good don't get me wrong it was fun it was a good starter like it was nice to get a fire going and get the sparks flying but now that it, we're actually fully in i feel like we have a really solid team and a good composition of and a good understanding of how each other play. And I think that's better than better than it's I ever imagined it could be in our second year. Yeah, exactly. I mean, not even a full year in. Um, when talking about the team quote, the Overwatch team, uh, I was hearing a lot of suggestions about the word croissant. Uh, can you explain this to me and the people at home? What this means? Why is this been uh, in the, the minds of our Overwatch team? Okay, so during one of our scrimmages, um, I'm pretty sure it was Carlos who was playing Sojourn, mm -hmm. and one of her sayings is croissant. It's one of her voice lines, and he kept spamming it over and over and over and over again. And every time we practice, he spams croissant. So I think that might end up being our, uh, Your our team quote. quote yeah. yeah, our quote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it baffled me. You know, I, I was in the broadcast room during that, so I didn't really catch exactly what was going on in your guys' comms, but... It has really been something the Overwatch team has been attached to lately. <laughs> um, looking at the rest of the season, Overwatch only competes in five different times, so that means there's four matches left in this league uh, structure. How do you feel like the team's chances are in those games? I feel like if we continue to work on specifically better communication, continuing to improve our communication and improve our positioning because I feel like a lot of times we were caught off guard and we were positioned in a way that the enemy was able to take advantage of us I feel like if we snip that in the butt and work on just all over all together working more cohesively and understanding each other even more than we already do because like I said before we have a good understanding of how we play but it's there's still definitely more levels that we need to climb to get to a get to a high high playing level that I think we can get to. Mm -hmm. For sure. SMSU has had like a lot of success in their limited experience so far. You highlighted kind of what you thought the things that SMSU needs to improve on in the previous question. What do you think is their strength right now? What do you think the team does that allows them to win these games? We've had scrimmages against people at our same level, and we tend to play up quite a bit in our uh, ranking. So I'm curious what you think the team has that allows us to do that i think we just have the fire and the motivation to be good because we have a very we, it's very close-knit already like we all feel like really close friends i feel we all mess around and joke around and we actually like sometimes we'll go late on practice sometimes we'll put in the extra work outside of practice like i know i did all summer i i was in the esports room the whole summer so i feel like it's our determination that really sets us apart most and I feel like most teams aren't as determined to be as good as we are because I feel like we have something to prove. Sure, for sure. I, I, and I do see that in, in the practices, whether it's the extra practicers or it's people in the Discord constantly saying, hey, anybody want to get some games in? 
it, see, it feels like we're constantly striving that extra distance to, to improve. Um, Overwatch has had kind of a little bit of controversy with decisions made by Blizzard recently. Do you feel like Overwatch is going to continue to be supported by Blizzard, or are you a little worried on that front? I'm a little worried from just the outside looking in. I'm not a high-level player, but I watch a lot of high-level players, and I see both sides of it. So I see my side as, like, supports are just insane right now. Mm -hmm. Like, supports are just so hard to kill. And tank, it just, at all levels, tank feels like if you're doing it right, you're getting constantly stunned, you're getting antied, you're getting slept, you're getting hindered. You're constantly taking the brunt, and you aren't able to make any plays. And I feel like that's where a lot of people are struggling because I know one of our teammates, Brandon, he was talking about how support kind of feels so strong that it's boring in a way because you can just get out of any situation that you want to if you play the right support. So I'm hoping with the new developers, they're able to pull through and listen to our team or listen to the Overwatch community in general. And if they do that, I feel like they can definitely pull through and do something. But at the rate we're going right now, it's kind of sketchy. Yeah, it's a little scary, and it you know, it really hurts to put so much time into a game and so much dedication to getting better and then see the game maybe not going the direction that you feel it should. Mm -hmm. um, and with that, you're also on the CS2 team. How hard is it to balance Overwatch, CS2 practice, keep up with academics, and your personal life? It's, uh, it's pretty difficult, but... I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's so much fun, and it's the main time I get to be social because every other area, it's like I'm always at home doing chores, doing homework, taking care of the animals, or I'm at school in class 24-7, or I'm working. So, like, this is the one time I get to have, like, a good social hour, mm -hmm. and it's it's more than a hobby. I feel like people think of it as a hobby, but it really is more than, more yeah, than just that. I, like, I can 100%. The social connection you make with other people – you know, you find people of like-minded interests. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's how you make friends so quickly. I, I do think that's one thing eSports offers to students is the ability to make friendships really quickly because you instantly find something to bond on. Exactly, yeah. Um, do you have any tips for students that might be struggling with, like, how to balance their time like that? I would say put yourself first. Don't be afraid to say no to people if they want you to do something that you aren't interested in doing. And I know that sounds kind of cliche, but that's like, I've been asked a lot to do things that are just like, like, do you want to hang out? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? But I always put myself first and understand that I'm paying to be here. And if I'm paying to be here, I'm going to get the most out of it. And I'm not going to let somebody else decide what I do if I'm putting so much at stake. Yeah. Let somebody else decide what experience you have. You exactly. want to decide what kind of experience you have for sure. Yeah. Um, any tips for somebody in high school who's interested in esports or people that are in college that are looking to get into competitive games? Just reach out, you know, talk to talk to anybody. I know obviously Spencer here has been the coach for a couple of years and it's he's obviously really friendly, you know. Um, just don't be afraid to just go there and talk to him. Even if they don't have a game that you're interested in, just ask. Maybe they're willing to try to start up a game, you know, and maybe if that first game doesn't work out, you have the ability to join a different game. So my first year, I w didn't plan on playing CSGO at all. I came here for Apex, and I was like, do you guys have an Apex team? He tried to put one together, and we couldn't get one. So I was like, you know what? I'll try CSGO. And now I'm on CSGO, and then I brought up the idea of an Overwatch team, and he said a couple other people were interested last year, and we created an Overwatch team, you know? So it's just go out there and talk to people. Don't be afraid, you know? The worst they can say is no. Yeah, and we were that's something we're always really excited to do, being able to push into a new game. It's a lot of fun for us. You know, it's new. It's a lot to learn. But uh, during that learning, so there's a lot of fun that comes with it as we try to get things organized and we try to figure out what we can do to bring um, more entertaining games to the student base here at SMSU. Thank you for coming on the broadcast, Drew. Good luck with the rest of the season. We're looking more forward to broadcasting more of your games. And, you know, starting off 1-0 is a good way to start the Overwatch season. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. All right, and. For you guys at home, thank you guys for joining us. Overwatch is on Thursdays at about this same time, 7.30 start time. And not every series will go to 9.30 at night, hopefully. Hopefully we get some three zeros. Hopefully uh, get out of here a little earlier. But, you know, we wouldn't trade the time we uh, get to compete here for anything. So thanks for joining us, and uh, hope you have a good night.